All right, in this video we're going to be looking at MOSFETs or metal oxide semiconductor effects, field effect transistors, All right? Commonly just referred to as MOSFETs. Now, a place to start is a comparison with the JFET, which we've already studied. So, differences and similarities. So, in terms of similarities, all right, we still have the same terminal names, the drain, the source, and the gate. So that's nice and easy. We still have N and P channel devices. Still have large input impedance at the gate. They're still voltage controlled. And they're still a unipolar device. All right, but that's basically the similarities. Differences uh, is that the gate is insulated From the channel. And this changes quite a few things with the way that these devices can operate uh, and gives us some, a new operating mode that we weren't able to do with the JFET. Uh, as well as that, we also have that uh, FETs, well, I should say MOSFETs, are much more widely used, and we're going to see why when we get to the enhancement mode MOSFET. But we have these, we have this new operating mode as well. But basically, we're now allowed a positive VGS, which we couldn't have before. Uh, but I'll show you under which conditions that can hold. All right, so the gate is insulated from the channel. Big difference in physical construction. Um, there is new operating mode associated with that, and of course, they're much more widely used because of the fact that they are now uh, much more easier to use for the positive voltage. So let's have a look at how these are roughly created as a block diagram. So on this side, I'm going to have my N channel device in this column, and on this side, I'm going to have my P channel device. Right, and we'll put a line down there. The N channel. Remembering this is just a block diagram view, looks something like this. So we have N dot, P dot, N dot. We have an interesting situation where we actually have a new terminal, which is actually called the substrate. But it's not the most remarkable bit here. The most remarkable is the fact that we have a new insulating layer. So all of this part here is SiO2, or silicon dioxide. And that insulates the gate from drain to source. Our new terminal here, the substrate it's called, is actually internally connected to the source. All right, so we only still have three our wires or three pins on our FET, so that's connected internally. And we're going to see how that all fits together when we look at these a little bit later. Right, so drain, source, we still have a gate, uh, noting N, P, N, physical construction there. P channel looks a little bit like this. Once again, we still have a drain and source. We've got a substrate coming out this side, which is connected to source, and we also have a insulating layer, just like we saw with the N channel device. So that's still SiO2. All right, comes out to there, gate, drain, and source. All right, so the difference between the N channel and P channel is the physical construction, the layers of doping between them. All right. 
We're going to talk about how they work in the videos dedicated to each of the now different modes of operation. So the first mode I'm going to talk about is the depletion. And I'm just going to list the symbols here. There's another video that goes through their operation. Depletion mode, symbol looks like this. All right, for the N channel and for the P channel, it looks like that. Gate, drain, source, gate, drain, source. And these are known as D MOSFETs because of the depletion mode. So this whole row is a D MOSFET. This is a P channel. Noting the only difference between them is the arrow direction. The other thing interesting to note about these symbols is this gap here, which looks like is a break. And that's in reality what's happened. It's an insulating layer here. So there is no electrical connection between that. In fact, it's physically separated as well. So we can see that in the symbol. With respect to enhancement mode, which is the other type of MOSFET. Right, very similar symbol. The only thing that's different is that the second line in the middle there is dashed or broken. All right, otherwise, arrow direction is the same for N and P channels. So this is an E MOSFET. N channel, and this is a, another E MOSFET, but this time a P channel. All the terminals are the same D, S, G, D, S, G. So you can see the substrate, substrate connection has been made internally, and the difference with the enhancement is a dash line versus the solid line. All right, N channel arrow pointing in, P channel arrow pointing out, solid line and dash line. All right, so that's a basic introduction to the MOSFET. Um, and we've had a look at differences uh, between the JFET and MOSFET. And in the next videos, we're going to be looking at how these devices work in first the depletion mode and then the enhancement mode.